This yes, conference will now be recorded. Yeah, I have some knowledge in IAB. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, uh, yeah. even I have a knowledge on IAB. Okay, okay. Uh, may I know your name, actually? My name is Kiran. Okay, okay. Hi, Kiran. Hello. Yeah, yeah hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, APCAND is very uh, new for you, right? I mean, you don't have any little knowledge also on APCAND, right? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me share my Well, screen. I've done some uh, uh, support for APIC, but uh, <clears throat> nothing from uh, development perspective. Okay. Uh, already you supported one for project for APA? Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Do you have knowledge in inbuilt policies, or how to create APAs products? No, no. I'm as in I'm aware, but I've never uh, done hands-on on it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, let me start my session. Uh, can you see my stream? Yes. Yeah. Let me share. Uh, yeah, I'm starting my session. Uh, before we get into the API Connect, just we have to know what are the APIs, what is the importance of APIs and all, right? Yeah, let me start that first. Yeah, see, uh, before a few, uh, consider uh, if in 19, 90s, uh, 19s, we have only websites, right? Uh, we have only website just uh, using websites what are the things we want to do we can do the website but whenever uh, the smartphones came into the picture for each and everything we have a mobile apps right see for banking application we have banking application mobile app for flight booking uh, for each and everything we have a mobile apps so whenever this mobile apps came into the picture the bad the weekend at that moment the APS came into the existence actually See, consider any mobile app, like uh, anything, like flight booking, something like that. Once we search, consider any Exigo app, just we have to mention from and destination, we have to select the date. And we, whenever we hit that, then the background color, it has to fetch the information from the database or something, backend application, right? See, what are the mobile apps we are using? Whenever we are operating from the mobile app, the backend call should be API calls. Uh, before websites, whenever we are using websites, there is no uh, point in API. But whenever the smartphone came into the picture, everyone using the mobile apps for banking application. Now to send the money, we are not using website. Just we are using mobile apps. Using mobile apps, we are sending money transfer or recharging something. Everything we are doing in mobile application rather than websites. So whenever the smartphones came into the picture, the API existence came into the picture. Let me share my, uh, show one diagram. See, we observe over here. Uh, can you follow up me? I mean, can you follow me? I mean, yes, yes. Hello? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. If you observe this diagram, let me zoom it. See, we are using one mobile application. What are the applications we are using? Uh, we have to face the inf information from backend. That my backend might be anything, as a database or anything. See, if you observe this diagram, here mobile application, all mobile applications calls going to this IBM API connect. And see, the backends may be either social media, or weather applications, payment gateway for traveling as i said earlier flight booking right for traveling also we are using all the things uh, will be going through this api connect so you understood right what is the importance of api role in when we are using smart uh, smartphones you understood this point right yes yeah see uh, before 
uh, before uh, uh, 2006 or something like that, we don't have this uh, smartphones and we don't have this all mobile application like banking application. Food, uh, for food also, we have Zomato, Uber Eats, Swiggy, right? We don't have all uh, mobile applications. See, whenever these smartphones came into the picture, the industry came to the uh, changing from websites to the digital integration. These all AP kind of things will come into the digital integration part. So using mobile applications, we are fetching, we are doing all the things like sending money and fetch, flight booking, train booking and all the things. This all backend calls go to the API current. API. In this case, we are uh, discussing about API current, right? So I took this API current picture. The computers like API current, APG we have and the CLA. So we have multiple computers for this API current. Just you understood this diagram, right? Yeah, let me. Okay, now we will define the API. What is the API? API is uh, it's nothing but it's a set of functions or protocols that can be used for developing a software applications and to expose our business. See, everything is, see, once we are developing the application, the main motto is to get the more business, right? Every application, it's mainly meant for business only, business purpose. Once again, I'm repeating, it's API is nothing but it's a set of functions or protocols that can be used for developing a software application and to expose our business to that application. And coming to these APIs, we have three types of API. First one is public API. And second one is private API. And third one is partner API. Uh, let me explain you what is public API. See, public API is nothing but which will be Suppose if, if some company has developed one API that they will explore, I mean, they are exposed to the public. Suppose, consider the example, some APIs like in, what are the things available in App Store? For iPhones, we are using App Store. For Android, we are using Google Play Store, right? Though they are, we are getting them as for free. So those APIs are public APIs. Consider private APIs. Some of the APIs, suppose consider an organization, they those APIs restrict, restricted to that particular organization. They can't expose them to the public. Only within that organization who are working in that, they can use those APIs. Those APIs are called private APIs. And coming to the partner APIs, partner APIs is nothing but, suppose considered organization, it has some business partners, right? For considered IPM, it has some premium partners. Okay, for those the, suppose country IBM, uh, they have some partners, right? The, uh, those APIs are restricted to the only partners. They they have some credentials they will share only with the partners. So they can access those API using those credentials. In uh, this way, uh, partner APIs will work. APIs are three types, public, private, partner. Public is nothing but open to everyone. Private is nothing but within the organization, within that particular company. Partner APIs, are, uh, partner APIs are nothing but they have some internal partners. Those APIs mainly meant for them. These are uh, API, uh, API types, public, private, and partner. Coming to the API current. See, for API current, we have some competitors like uh, IBM providing API current. IPG also one of the competitors for API current, APIs. And Ulsoft also is there. CLA or several. These are the competitors of APIs like IBM is API Connect, APG also the mules of CLA etc. and all the things. And coming to the history of API Connect, see before 2015, the name is API Management. The four uh, at that moment the version is four. API Management four version we are calling as API Management. Whereas from the fifth version onwards, the IBM changed from API Management to the API Connect. Just they change the version and the rename is. <laughs> API management to the API Connect. API Connect was launched in 10th April 2015 and as version 1. Actually, earlier it's a 4 and now it's a, from 5th version onwards, they are calling it as API Connect. But coming to this uh, 2018 onwards, they are releasing the version based on the quarter. 2018 first quarter version, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Uh, 2018 onwards, they are releasing the version based on the quarters. 
this is about APA current. Earlier it was the APA management from the fifth one share under. They are calling it as a APA current. And we have one more term called APA economy. APA economy is nothing but it's all about see all the all the organization why they are releasing why they are developing this APA to make the business more right. That's why uh, this is called APA economy. APA economy is nothing but where companies expose their digital business assets or services in the form of APAs to the third parties with the goal of unlocking the additional business value through the creation of new assets. See, consider any, suppose consider now we have a Swiggy app, Swiggy or Uber Eats or Zoom. See, the, all the restaurants will be tied up with the Zoom or Swiggy. So they are uh, making a more business. Suppose if we don't have any, uh, consider before we do, before Zoom or Swiggy, if we want to go, if we want to have some biryani or something like that, then we have to arrange the travel for the restaurant and we have to go there and it's like taking a lot of time. Right? See, even though we wanted to eat, but sometimes we didn't eat. So suppose consider now, if you want to have a biryani or something like that, simply we'll open Zomato or something like that, then you will order, then they will, you will get the food at your doorstep, right? See, user using of these API, they will expose their business data in the form of API and they are, they are uh, getting more profit. This is the called API economy. See, if you look at this picture, business assets, they are exposing their business assets in the form of APIs. Okay. And end users are consuming these APIs. And economy, economy is all about investing and make profit of using APIs who are consuming it. Whenever the consumer is using API, we can make profit using it. Meanwhile, we need to pay. This is all so far I explained. Mm. And, uh, and coming to the API Connect. You understood what is API economy and all the things. Right? What are, so far I explained, you understood, right? If you have any questions, just please ask. Ajay mm. and Nikhil. Yeah, in those APS, uh, before API, you are saying that there is a com competitors is there, like API, API, APG, yeah, and APG, APG is there, Microsoft is there. Okay, which is better, the, which is better? See, nowadays, uh, APG and uh, API Connect, AP, uh, coming to Microsoft is a open source. Because of this open source, see, nowadays in the market, API Connect is running more because See, if you get any production issue and everything, just if you raise the PMR, they will, IBM, we can reach out to the IBM. So they, if you running a serious production issue to create a PMR, the IBM service will be very good. Due to that, this API market is more now. And we, some of the companies use APG and some of the companies will sub. Coming to the will sub, it's open source, right? If you are running a serious production issue, you can't reach out to the will sub. So, uh, in with respect to the service, API Connect is very good, and a lot of organizations are using API Connect. If you go to the IBM site, a lot of I will show a lot of but big organizations are using API Connect. Like uh, yeah. before API, also that API uh, API Connect also API G is there, right? So comparing to the market, uh, the the more customers and more clients are using API G. So why APG. they are at IPG? <laughs> Why they should want to again come back with the API? See, the API. It, it, see uh, these all are same. Like, see, you are using mobile phone. The competitors, Samsung is there, and uh, Redmi is there, iPhone is there. See, based on the, your requirements, suppose if you are a consumer, based on your requirement, based on your uh, opinion, based on your likes and dislikes, you any product, right? Uh, is there any license difference or uh, something else? I'm asking such kind. Any license cost and... Uh, um, and See, coming, uh, uh, APG, co coming, uh, compare with APG, if you compare APG and with APG, cost, See, IBM will cost more, I think. But the service will be very good. IBM service will be very good. If you get any issue or something like that, simply if you create a PMR, IBM will... IBM people will respond very fastly and they will resolve the issue very fastly according to your business requirement. That's all.
the IBM service is very good. And what the license cost? So, may, do you know how much it uh, is approximately? Uh, I am not aware of that cost. Uh, see, I, I generally, I am actually a de APIC and developer. See, uh, before AP architects, they will gonna interact with uh, IBM and they, they, those guys know the cost of this APIC and licensing and all. Okay. okay. Yeah, Kiran, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, say suppose there are two uh, backend uh, uh, applications that need to be exposed over API, and okay. one of uh, them has uh, post call, get call, and say suppose patch call, and the other one has only uh, post call. So okay. can the post call of one application and the get call of another application together be exposed as an API? Can that be called as an API? Yeah, yeah we can expose either the uh, STP post, put whatever the STP methods are there. We can expose all our uh, backend application in API Connect. No, in but they are, they are from yeah. two different applications. As in the uh, backend, is, there are two backends. And we okay. are uh, taking post of one and get of one and combining them and exposing them as an API. Is that possible? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, actually, what I understood is we have a one, two backend application, which one is uh, accepts only HTTP get method and one is HTTP post method, right? Yes. Yeah, do you want to expose those two backend application in API Connect, right? Yes, together, like as one service. Together, yeah, we can do. See, in API Connect, coming to the API Connect, in the API Connect, if you observe, there is a path path there. See, in that path, we can create multiple paths according to our requirement. In this case, you are saying one one is HTTP get method, right? See, for those two backend application, you have to create the two paths. One, uh, one path for uh, one application, backend application, one more path is for second backend application. For one path, in each path, we can define. So if, uh, in your requirement, first application is HTTP get method, right? We can define HTTP met get operation and one different backend. We can, yeah, we can do that. I will, I will, uh, once we are, once we continue the class, I will, I will show this practical experience and API current. We can create two parts for two backend application and we can select uh, whatever that method you want for get or put or anything. Okay. Yeah. Hey, is there any difference? Like actually I heard this as per my class. I um, understand this is like you're just using for API gateway, right? Yeah. Actually, in the most of the project, they will expose the, any backend applications in API, either that backend uh -huh. application, like the data power or IAB. It is working as a, actually API, IBM API Connect is a working as a gateway, right? Yeah, uh, gateway, but uh, we can do transformation also, XML to JSON, JSON to XML. Uh -huh. we can okay, and we can... But what is the major differences in uh, data power and API gateway, API Connect? See, uh, that data data power is mainly meant for security purpose like we can mesa level security we can provide and um, network level I, that means HTTPS is using sl proxy profile we can uh, we can provide network level. whereas coming to the api connect see data power service you will expose them as a service but whereas this api connect you will expose them as apis you there's a difference between service and api you understood my point and see what are things you will expose in the data pipe, you will expose them as a service almost uh, web services only but coming to the api current you will expose them as apis using those apis any mobile application can call your api using rest json json data you understood so my point right? except mobile applications we are not able to use this apis we can call any see if you if you want to call any iab application IAB application can call also API connect, but this is mainly meant for uh, API calls. See, as a Noam itself, it is showing that APIs, mobile application. As a, earlier, I shown one diagram, right? This one. 
you can understand this clearly from the description. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in case uh, my question is actually, if we are using for only the mobile applications or uh, yeah, the, kind of the main the main motto is that's why API came into the existence. Uh, but we can call from any service either from data power you can call or IAB you can call from wherever you want you can call the API. But it's mainly meant for AP, uh, mobile applications or APIs. So there is no any interconnection between the APIs, API connect and the data power, right? Yeah, but see, in coming to the API connect, we have a two manage, uh, two servers in API connect. One is management server and is one is gateway server. See, management server is nothing but uh, within the API connect, we will install the management server and all, but uh, Gateway server, we will use the data power as a gateway server for API connect. Okay. See, in the future, in further class, I will explain you what are the servers and what is a gateway server and what is a management server. I will, I will explain you clearly. We okay. have two servers, management and the gateway. Management is completely uh, belongs to API current, whereas management gateway server also there in API current, we will use data power as a gateway server to this API current. Mm -hmm. And in API current also, we can provide the security and we can, the transform, we can do transformation like XML to JSON, JSON to XML, and we can validate the incoming message also using schema. Either if you are using REST, uh, we can use JSON schema or XML schema also. And, and we uh, can, so yeah. uh, this is can most probably using for the development prospect or uh, configuration prospect. See, in this uh, no coding, uh, on, total configurations are there. If you want to write the code, we can write the code using XLT and a gateway script also there. And JavaScript also there. You can write JavaScript, gateway script or XLT if you want. Coding. And mostly uh, API guarantees, uh, Configuration, 99% configuration only. Configuration, okay. Yeah. So there is a hard that there is a JS. I mean, Node.js code is there and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, see, uh, I, I'm coming to that point. Yeah, we can see, we can uh, use the API current in two ways. One is on cloud and one is in on premises. Cloud is nothing but, see, in uh, IBM we have a cloud called Bluemix, right? Yes. Whenever you want to use Bluemix, uh, in that case, we need to install developer toolkit, API developer toolkit. This developer toolkit requires Node.js. This developer toolkit, developer toolkit is mainly meant for API designs and all, all the things whenever you are using in the cloud. We will develop the APIs in the toolkit and we will deploy them in cloud, in catalogs and all. I will explain you later. But coming to the on-premises, in on-premises is nothing but within the organization. Suppose, see, if you are, uh, consider if you are using the cloud, uh, you will develop the APIs and deploy them in the cloud. Okay. But see, if you deploy in the cloud, the entire data will be in the hands of IBM guys, IBM folks. They will, they will do, take care about all the data. So if you consider banking application. For banking application, nobody use this cloud because uh, the data will be known to the IBM. So as banking application, and so the data is very sensitive, right? For banking and anything. So though for banking and uh, banking and insurance company, they will they won't prefer cloud. They will prefer uh, on premises. On premises is nothing but in the organization we can install. AP Connect and we can do the AP Connect, uh, we can develop the AP Connect, we can uh, deploy within the organization, within the on-premises. That is the two differences. If you are using a cloud, then we need to install the developer toolkit. This developer toolkit uh, uh, requires Node.js. It will run the, it will run on the uh, Node.js platform. But we need only to write any Node.js code, just we need to install the Node.js we need to install the Node.js. On top of that, we can install developer toolkit. Developer toolkit, for developer toolkit, this Node.js is mandatory, but we no, no need to write a code in Node.js or something like that. In cloud, we have three variations like uh, essential, essential enterprise and professional. Essential is free. That is for one month trial. Whoever wants to learn the 
ABA Connect, then IBM is providing that uh, essential. If we, we have to register for that, it is only for one month. And uh, enterprise and professional, they are chargeable. See, it depends upon the number of APA calls per hour, they're going to charge. Mostly for every, any comp, uh, mostly all the companies, 99% of the companies, they won't go for cloud. They will install the APA Connect in on premises so that they will. Uh, in that the business is running but uh, see I am working in AP Grant project so in my project also in my company also a lot of projects are running in on premises only nobody are using this uh, cloud because the disadvantage with the cloud is see if you, if you run if you maintain the cloud if you deploy the APS in cloud the entire data will be known to the IBM and moreover the support will be taken by the IBM only see if you want to Restart the server also, they, you have to raise the ticket to the IBM and they need to respond back to the ticket and they need to restart the server. For everything, you have to wait for the IBM folks. Suppose if your AP current is within your organization, so you can, you, whatever you want, you can do, right? Whenever you want to restart, you can restart everything, you can take care of it. That is a disadvantage with the cloud. And uh, just see. If you observe here, see, for AP Connect dependencies are Node.js and Python and NPM. See, as you, as you earlier said, Node.js is, you don't need to write any code, but this platform is mandatory. AP Connect Developer Toolkit runs on Node.js platform. And this Python, but it's not necessary. Even you don't need to install a Python also, it will, AP Connect will install. Do you have any questions still? Ajay and Kiran. No. No mercy. Uh, I just wanted to ask, um, what is a loopback API? Loopback API. Uh, see, whenever at the beginning levels, we will, uh, using toolkit, we will develop one loopback application, loopback API. For loopback, we need a model and data source. Uh, let me, in... There is one diagram. Let me show the diagram. See. Uh, it is is it clear right it's let me save that yes it's clear just uh, it's a uh, loading i download See, uh, loopback application, see, whenever uh, basic, at basic level for train, a training purpose, we will create one loopback application using toolkit, API developer toolkit. Using that, we can create. See, a loopback project is nothing but it need a data source and it's a need an endpoint. Within the, see, loopback application, within the loopback, loopback project, we have one product and we have one loopback application. Loopback application, it's needed in API, we will use invoke invoke operation and in that we will call one backend, it will fetch the data from any data source. Data source is nothing but anything, IBM DB2 or uh, we have all the data, MangoDB and everything we everything we have in API connect and for uh, training purpose mostly we will use uh, in-memory database. It's a uh, API Grant will provide in memory database. Mostly we will deal with that. Actually, see if you come to this product, first we will create API in the API Connect, and then we will create a product and we will add this API to the product. And in the product, it is included plan. Plan is nothing but uh, for every product, we, we have a default plan 100 calls per hour. Suppose if you want to create more plans, also you can create. Plants are gold plants, silver plants, suppose gold plants. 
considered 10 calls per minute per silver fan only 5 calls per minute see first will uh, i will i will show the api life cycle first see first we will create the api and then we will create the product and in the product we will create the plan according to our business requirement we will create plans like 100 calls per minute 100 calls per hour 100 calls per second based on our requirement we will create plan and we will uh, deploy we will deploy this product to the catalog catalog is nothing but like environment whenever we install the ap current sandbox catalogs will be default created catalog is nothing but environment like dev production and everything right Catalog, we will deploy that catalog and for each catalog we need a developer portal developer portal is nothing but suppose once we deploy once we publish we will say not deploy here in the api we will say them publish once we will publish those apis to the catalog for each catalog there will be a developer portal that a product will be available in once you publish the product to the developer portal that developer portal available to the real time consumers whoever wants to consume your api then uh, those apis what are the products you published in the product api is included once you publish those api product to the developer portal real time consumers whoever wants to consume your api they can create application in the developer portal they will select the product and they will select the plan according to the their business requirement suppose they use 100 calls per hour so they can select default plan and for gold plan silver plan you can charge depends upon the plan you can charge the amount for a gold plan it's a according to your business requirement you will charge some money for that and here this is how this ap uh, will come in uh, ap will run let me explain to them also see for api current the three things we have to three components are there like api manager and api cloud console that is cloud management console cmc and developer portal see this is these three for in on premises if you install if you want to install api current in your on premises then you you need a three ovfs See, for data for virtual installation, we need one OVA file. We have to go to the IBM Fix Central site and we have to download it in a similar way. For API Manager also, we need an OVA file. We will install API Manager in virtual machine, VMware Workstation, something like that. In that, we will install API Manager and API CMC and Developer Portal. See, API Manager is mainly meant for developing the APIs and to create the APIs and to manage the API. To create the API is nothing but to define the API. According to our business requirement, we will create the API. Managing the API is nothing but uh, versioning, changing the versioning of the API, setting uh, setting the rate limit and all the things. Creating APIs, products and managing them, all the things will be done in API Manager. Whereas API CMC, CMC stands for Cloud Management Console. This mainly meant for administration purpose. Administration purpose is nothing but in the CMC only you will define your management server and your gateway server and your uh, suppose if you want to send any email notification you will define SMTP server and you want to provide any security like TLS profiles you will create in a CMC and if you want to define users for the users for API connect you will define users and user registry suppose if you want to authenticate the users using LDAP. You will define all those things in API Cloud Management Console. This is mainly meant for administration, like creating users and authentication with LDAP, creating management server, gateway server, and uh, uh, re restarting the server, rebooting the server. All the things will be done in CMC. And coming to the developer portal, as I said to you earlier, we will publish products in developer portal for each uh, sorry we will publish apis in sandbox that means catalog for each catalog there will be one developer portal catalog is nothing but environment dev environment test production we, for each catalog we will have a developer portal once we will publish those products in developer portal so real time consumers who were suppose you provided one api and you publish that to the developer portal so 
I can register. Suppose if I want to consume your API, so I need to register with the developer portal. I need to create one application for myself. And once you so your API will be available in developer portal. So according to my requirement, I will subscribe to that product or API. Suppose if you created some multiple plans in that according to my business requirements, then I will subscribe to that plan and I can use it. In this way, API will API will run. You understood the complete things, right? How what is API manager, what is API CMC and developer portal, how the things will happen in API can you understood, right? Ajay and Kiran. Mm, yes. Yeah. yeah uh, about yep. this uh, application runtime, actually, I heard uh, there is some uh, things uh, the developer to toolkit and API manager and API gateway application runtime and developer toolkit. Developer toolkit, we will install developer toolkit <coughs> for the uh, for a de the once you install the developer runtime. toolkit, the application runtime means that is uh, we, in the cloud we, we have a sandbox, the sandbox is ca uh, ca uh, called as runtime actually. In, in that we have a management server. See, if you observe this uh, API CMC, in the CMC management server will be there and gateway server will be there. Those are called runtime. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> okay. See, uh, if, you, if you go for cloud, this API manager won't be there. We'll uh, install developer toolkit, right? If you give some command API, API C edit, that will be directly one API in that your default browser API designer will be open. API designer will be open where you will create your APIs. And in that uh, you first see we have to create account with Bluemix and we need to set up a uh, in the Bluemix they are uh, pro giving this API connect as a service. So we have to select the service and in that uh, one default uh, catalog will be there that is sandbox. Once we will develop the APIs we we'll publish our uh, APIs in Sandbox. Sandbox is nothing but catalog. Catalog default name is Sandbox, but the catalog only they will give you. Yeah. <coughs> sandbox is nothing but I mean okay, it's a catalog. But for example, we have a Google Play. Something is there, right? Google Play. Okay. So yeah. all the APIs are will be in there. I want to download that uh, one API from the Google Play. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, Google Play is a Sandbox. No, no. See, it's a repository. The all the public APIs will be available in Google Paste. A catalog is nothing but see for uh, projects we have some environments like development, test, UAT, and production. So catalog is nothing but environment. See, for a development purpose, uh, default is that in the cloud we have sandbox as a, uh, the catalog name is sandbox. In the IBM cloud. They are providing for each sand, as I said to you earlier, for each catalog, we have a developer portal, right? In the IPM, they, they are providing developer portal also. They will provide some one link for developer portal. If you open that link, we can publish. So once you publish your product to the sandbox, that's nothing but catalog, then the API will be available in developer portal. I will show all the things later. Just, uh, just I'm, uh, I'm explaining what are the things available for API correct and all the things. So in this picture, actually, I pick, I, for example, I took the only on-premises apl application. Okay. So okay. in this case, where the picture uh, come from? Blue mix, come from Blue mix. So there is no if picture. If you choose, yeah, if you choose on-premises, on there is no Blue mix. There is no Blue mix. But uh, for a practicing purpose, mostly we will use developer toolkit and we will subscribe. Uh, we will create account with Bluemix. For developer, for developing purpose, we will use Bluemix only. In training also, I will go with Bluemix and developer toolkit. See, for uh, okay. if you want to install API, uh, API correct in on premises, we need to install API manager, CMC, developer portal. It will consume. It needs a lot of system requirement, all the things. So for uh, training purpose, mostly everyone go with this developer toolkit and Bluemix only. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And yeah. other, what, what are the things you have covered in the classes? Yeah, uh, today uh, one more point is there, important one. Yeah, yeah. API lifecycle. API lifecycle is nothing but, just let me know.
this is ap life cycle ap life cycle is nothing but create run manage and secure create is nothing but we have to create uh, apis and all the things once we created the api we have to test them right that is called running run once we run the application we have to manage managing apis is nothing but uh, for each api we have uh, some versions if you want to change the version and if you want to restrict the traffic and if you want to provide all the things like those all the things comes under manage and coming to security in api kind we can provide security we can provide security in three levels actually there is called uh, in api kind we have uh, api key and basic authentication and oauth these three things uh, for security these three things based on our requirement we can select any one of the thing for security according to your business requirement this all api life cycle we can do it in one application that is called api current in api current we can create apis and we can run apis we can manage the api and we can secure the api and for flexibility also in api manager for testing purpose we need some, some suppose if you are, we need to use some uh, testing tool like sopa postman right here we know it to you we uh, in api current there is inbuilt testing tool also there Uh, we need no need of external thing also for testing purpose uh, in api grant inbuilt testing toolkit is also there i will show all the things in lab this is uh, yeah as i just said as you asked uh, today i will explain you like what is api and types of apis so without api connect uh, without api connects there is not possible to process the uh, i mean consume the applications google or what all the applications there is no possible to without the api connect right yeah see whenever uh, as i said you earlier yeah. uh, api is mainly meant for this mobile applications what are the mobile applications we are using this all those back end calls should be go to the api only either that might be api connect or apg or anything depends upon client requirement who were uh, Hmm. using api current they will go through the api current as a, earlier i have shown one diagram right mobile ha huh, yeah, yeah 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 it's this one either here I, uh, we are discussing with api api current so i placed api current if it is apg mules up it it will come here and uh, hmm. what today in today's class uh, we discussed what is api types of apis and what is api economy and uh, what is uh, api economy and what what is api connect overview like this earlier it was api management now it is cha name changed to the api connect right api history and competitors what are the competitors of api connect and uh, what are the computers api connect overview like uh, in api grant we can as i said you we can install api in two ways like a cloud and on premises and uh, what are the components main components like api manager developer portal and what is cmc and what is catalog what is uh, a loopback application and uh, what is loopback application what is product plan what is plan and what is uh, yeah i forget the most of the things and uh, we actually we are recording the demo see what is needed for demo actually what is api life cycle so these are the, if i missed anything just please remember me uh, so far we covered I, this one but i forget to Tell you this API grant advantages. What are the advantages of API grant? See, as I said, you earlier API life cycle, create, run, manage, secure, and uh, see we can do all the things in API connect. 
an advantage. A, what is API current? API current is an integrated creation, creation, runtime, management, and security foundation for enterprise grade APIs and microservices to power modern digital application. What does API current provide? That means advantage like automated visual coding options for creating API and automated discovery of systems, Node.js and Java support for creating microservices. This is a life cycle and governance for API product plans, policy informant, security and control, customer advantage of API using analytics. And I forget to tell you, yeah, in API current, we have an analytics also. Analytics is nothing but, uh, see, uh, suppose you published API and uh, real time consumers also using your API. In analytics, it will show clearly. Number, what are the number of success requests and number of failures and uh, what are the products i mean how many requests for product and what are uh, how many requests for apis and we can show them in different uh, pictures like pie chart or uh, graphs and we have a different graphs in different manner you can show in pie chart you can see and you can graph we have some uh, uh, views graphical interface for uh, in analytics we can view analytics in different manners. How many number of calls, how many successful requests, how many failure requests, and what is the error rules. How, uh, errors we can do, every, we can see everything in analytics part. And uh, today we discussed about security also. In API, we can provide security in three types. Like uh, API key. API key is nothing but we have a client ID and client secret. Based on a requirement, uh, if you want to provide security for API, if you, if you want to implement API key, then uh, for each catalog, we have a client ID and client secret. Uh, once you deploy the API, then, then if you any consumer wants to access that API, then it will ask for credentials. If you want, if you share those client ID and client secret with the consumer, then only they can access our API. That is API key in that we have a client ID and client secret and the basic authentication basic in the basic you can use general username or password or if you want to integrate uh, with LDAP you can integrate with LDAP also yeah all the all other things will be available in basic and uh, coming to and next third one is OAuth 2 version you can provide OAuth security also security aspects three aspects are available in API and is uh, API key in API key we have client chain and client secret and basic in the basic generally if you basic username and password or if you want to integrate uh, with LDAP also you can do that in basic and OAuth 2 security also you can provide and, uh, and in API connect we can do uh, we can do transformation also we can convert JSON to XML XML to JSON and we can validate the incoming message and uh, we can we can generate JW to token. We can we can validate JW token. We can uh, we, in security aspects also there. So you can able to uh, modify that message in the API in the API. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah, we can modify. It. But transformation also we can do. Message transformation also modification is nothing but transformation. For message transformation also do. For that we need. Uh, we have an XLT. If you want to, if you are flexible with XLT code, you can write XLT in XLT policy. Or if you are flexible with uh, JavaScript, you can write JavaScript also. Okay, for we example, I think, you know, eSQL, right? You can able to use the eSQL. No, no, e eSQL e is no. In eSQL, we write in compute node. In IAP, we have a eSQL. But whereas in APCant, we can use either XLT or JavaScript or get this. So most probably on the API connect use for uh, um, interacting the APIs, right? So is there yeah. how much coding, how much coding is required on the API connect? No, no, coding is not required actually. See, generally for coding, uh, see, only backend application will be backing REST or SOAP application will be exposed as the APIs in API connect. So if you there is little coding, if you want to write the little code, you can write. Suppose if the complex code is required, so we will uh, we will we will develop that either in IAB or develop anything. So if you, for complex coding, uh, if you want to write complex code, also you can write. But uh, in API current, it's not meant for that. 
even though if you want to write the code so that code will be written in some other tools either iab or data core so if you want to get that you can call that for uh, suppose consider xml to json you need that you have that in iab so you need you will call from api client that iab application so that you will get that response but in api client also you won't uh, there is no complex coding it's mainly for exposing either back end rest or soap applications in the form of api that purpose we will use api client code also we can write uh for and actually say i don't want to actually to be frankly say i'm really getting irritated about the code so so i'm checking for which in api client we go code which tool is better to learn so <laughs> that's why i directly asked that if it is code is there See, see, right. IP can be, no, it's a mainly configuration only, no code. Okay. API can be mainly meant for exposing either backend REST or SOAP application in the form of APIs. That is what API can mean. For that purpose, we are using API. Uh, I think I think you are aware of uh, IAB, right? Yes, a bit of knowledge. Yeah, if the combination with the data power with I uh, sorry IAB with API client is uh, you, nowadays the market is more for the IAB who has knowledge on API client also. Data power API C IAB API C is good combination. You get a lot of calls. Right now my role is the data power and API C developer. I I I do I know IAB also I work on IAB. Right now I'm working on the project as a data power and API client developer. in my project so uh, may know your uh, experience and uh... actually i have 6 years of experience and uh, see if you if you want to get more calls if you need a ia api client with data power you will get lot of calls actually recently i switched the company recently i changed i, uh, I got around four offer letters by uh, data power with api so if you want to learn uh, API client along with data power, then it's very good. See, in data power also there is no much code, only Excel D code. Excel Excel D code will be there in data power. See, uh, but Excel D is also not that much complex. Whereas compare with I work on eSQL also. I know eSQL. I'm both IAB data power API C developer. So compare with eSQL, Excel D is pretty much easy because in Excel D for each thing we will have elements. based on a requirement we will choose element and we can write the code if you have a combination data power along with apac then the market will be more you will get lot of calls and you will get good packages also so you are working in uh, working in uh, accenture now no no i actually i don't want to disclose those details but uh, i will help you so after training also if you want me reference i have a many colleagues who are working data power apac i will refer you Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, Kiran, do you have any questions? Ah, uh, well, actually, I have one question. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, mostly, we only two are talking. That's why I. Okay. Ah, uh, so should I go ahead with my question? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so in my previous organization we ha- we had an api which which was called as tracking api and the backend okay. was a database where we used to uh, send some tracking number and uh, from that database some values used to fetch out details as to where the parcel is and things like that and that used that was an api basically so will that be called as a loopback uh, api because There's a database involved, and yeah, API yeah. C is uh, okay. Yeah. So, any uh, any interaction uh, from the database and uh, the API C platform is that an is that a loopback application? Yes, yes. See, uh, in loopback application, there will be a data source and model. Data source we will def- we can connect with a lot of database like DB2, SQL Server, MongoDB, everything. to represent the database we will have a model object called model in api connect model suppose in the model we will define all the parameters like uh, see if you want to retrieve i uh, employee id question in the query parameter see employee uh, select employees select start from employee where employee id equal to some number right 
for those query parameters we will define in model based on that we will create loopback application actually in APK. first application will be loopback we will create that okay yeah uh Ajay, yeah go ahead with your question no, no. Uh, what your things you have covered in the uh, session, like I'm not in section yeah. at all. Yeah, so today I have explained you about what is API, what are the different types of API, why API came into the existence, and uh, what is API economy, what is API kind of history. Earlier it's API management and the change name to the API current from the fifth version that is in 2015 onwards. What is API current overview? In the API current, we can install the API in two ways, like in the cloud and on premises. What are the difference between cloud and on-premise also explain and see if you deploy, if you use the cloud enter service will be okay. under IPM folks. So explain you all the things coming to the on-premises. We have three things like API manager, developer portal, CMC. What is API manager? What is developer portal? What is cloud management? Console? I explain you all of them and coming to the catalog. Catalog, what is catalog is nothing but environment. What is the importance of catalog? So explain and uh, what are the what is api what is the plan what is product and how it will create the api and how it will add the api to the product and how will how will publish will publish product to the catalog so that that will be available in developer portal so that the whoever wants to consume your api through developer portal they can create one application in developer portal they can access it and the loopback what is loopback application what are the dependencies for api grant also explain whenever we are installing toolkit no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. It's okay. I, I think you already is. I, I can able to see, see your screen. What you yeah. Are. Yeah. These yeah. are the things I've explained. API lifecycle, create, run, manage, secure. All the things we can do it in one tool. That is API Connect. And uh, analytics. In API Connect, we have analytics, and then we can see all the requests, like number of success requests, number of failure requests. We could see that in analytics and security. In security, we have uh, three parts like API key, basic, and OAuth two. These are the things I covered. This is so. This okay. is enough for demo. If you like my demo, just please reach out to uh, that uh, SVR guy. And uh, if you uh, is it okay for you? Uh, both Ajay and Kira. So you are most probably you cover cover the practical. I mean, like uh, uh, organization level, right? So yeah, yeah. you uh, all are required for the organization level only, right? Yes, yes. Once we start, then we first the step will be Bluemix set up and uh, we'll insert developer toolkit. Then I will start all the topics like uh, how to create and API. Duration. And duration, please? Duration will be 20 to 25 hours. 20 to 25 hours. I mean, every uh, we have a most probably a schedule a class in every day or? Every day, one? see. Uh, my office timings were 9 to 6. I will be available uh, morning 6 to till 8. Morning 6 to 8 and after 8 o'clock in the night. After 8, I will be available. Uh, morning. Uh, yeah, please give me a feedback. See, if you like my demo, just say me frankly. Uh, see, it depends upon the requirements, it will be different, right? I uh, coming to my experience, I have trained around uh, five to ten members on API. They were, they, I, I used to give training for all the things like data power, API Connect, IAB. Around ten members I have trained so far in my career. All all got good jobs and they are they are still touching with me. And if you if they need any technical requirement, also they will reach out to me. And all this is what my experience. And if you give them support, I mean, like uh, like on call support, something like that, are you provided? Yeah, yeah. See, once once we are done with training, if you need any support in future, also I, you can reach out to me. Okay. Uh, uh, well, actually, I had a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, so, uh, in case of uh, soap request, we need a visitor. Likewise, in case of rest, we need a swagger. But if we yeah. don't have a swagger, is there a way we can create so, or is there a way we can deal with REST APIs on APIC? Because I'm also learning Mule software in my organization. So in, in that case, and even in IIB, uh, 
there's no mandatory requirement of a swagger if you are creating a rest yeah. area yeah see so in it, apk I I pray, I just I work for Microsoft. They, when they are in 2016, they provide free training for eight weeks. Right? At that moment, I learned. They in Microsoft, you will run RAML file, right? Yes. Yeah. If you run RAML file, uh, the configuration will be there. But it is the uh, uh, reverse in APK. See, we will based on the configuration automatically YAML file will be created in APK. Okay. Okay. See, I I observed. I worked on Mules of for a long back, but I remember we have to write a RAML code yeah, there. Exactly. Based yeah. on that, there will be configuration will be set up. But coming mm -hmm. to the APK connect, it is different, diff, uh, reverse actually. See, uh, you will have uh, some all the things like base path, host, and the paths we have. We, we have to configure all the things. Based on that, mm -hmm. uh, Swagger file will be automatically created. Based on your configuration, Swagger file will be created. That is YAML file, okay. not YAML. Okay. okay, so either you can import it or it will be yeah, created we can import, by itself. Yeah, we can, yes, yes, we can import, configuration. Yeah, we can import the existing YAML file. We can create SOAP, SOAP APIs, REST APIs in APK and we can do all the things. We can import the visual also in APK and we can do all the things in APK. Okay, and as you said, uh, in case of uh, mapping, you said we can do some transformation. Yeah, yeah. So, um, is there, I mean, Java gateway script or uh, XSLD is the only way to no, deal no. with. For, uh, for mapping, we have a map node also in APK. Map Actually, in APK, we will call them in Mulesort. We you call them as connectors, right? I'm on, just started taking training on it. They are the RAML files. Yeah, you uh, here yes, in yes. APK, we have a you in a, actually. I thought that I think uh, in Mulesort, we call uh, each component as a connector, but whereas here okay. we call them as policy. We have map node, map policy okay. is there in APK, right? We have to define the schema okay. first. Suppose if you want to convert XML to JSON, XML to JSON inbuilt uh, policy is there. XML to JSON, JSON to XML policy is also there. We have a map policy also there. First, you have to define input schema and output schema. Based on your requirement, you have to map each and every component in that. Map also there. But okay, also. so is there a, uh, like, uh, a thing? Whenever we get a request on uh, uh, API, it will be a SOAP XML. So we, okay. we don't, uh, the backend application only expects normal XML. It will not understand the SOAP. Uh, yeah, we can, we can convert SOAP to normal XML. Mm -hmm. XML to transformation we can do. Okay. So is that a, like a transformation or is there just a policy? It's like a drag and drop thing in which you can drop SOAP, see, SOAP see. Map also there for drag and drop thing. You can use map. Okay, if it is simple XML to JSON, JSON to XML, you can use XML to JSON policy or JSON to XML policy according to requirement. If you want to write the code also, XLT is there, JavaScript is there. Mm -hmm. We can do, see, we can have a drag and drop option using XML to JSON, JSON to XML map policy, mm -hmm. or else we can write the coding. If you want to write the code, you can write the code also. Mm -hmm. In a mule shot, we have a data wheel, right? Using that, we can write the code. Uh, so, one more question. You yeah. said uh, you are an API CN data card developer. So, yeah. if the uh, security and everything is handled at API why do we have to route the request to data power? We can directly go for IIP for data for any sort of transformation. See, and that's, the uh, that's purely depends upon business requirement. See, and one more thing, uh, mainly data port is mainly meant for security, right? Mostly data port sits in the DMZ. DMZ, do you aware of that? Uh, yes. DMZ, see, internet will be there for any private network and public network. Public network is nothing but internet. Private network is nothing but private network within one organization. Consider organization A, A has some network, right? Before this public network and private network, this private network will have some DMZ, demeterialized zone. Here, data will 
data pool will place in this DMZ. So before any request from the internet, before coming to the private network, first that request has to pass to the DMZ. In DMZ, all security threats will be removed. Like uh, security threats like SQL injection, all the security setup will be done in DMZ. Once DM, if the request pass successfully from the DMZ, then only those requests come to the AP Connect. Generally, AP Connect and IAB will sit in the private network, whereas this D, uh, data power will sit in the DMZ. Uh, but as per my understanding, the request first comes at APIC and then it goes to data power. Yeah, that, is, what I mean. your... hmm. yeah, that is completely their architecture. Different companies they will for the different architecture, right? In your organization, you are using IAP. So that completely depends upon your architecture, the project architecture. Who will decide your all the things that depends on your architecture. I, are you saying that data bar can uh, sit ahead of APIC to uh, filter yes, out yes. the request? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I would like to say. See, as I said to you earlier, in AP. In cloud management console, we have two servers like like management server and gateway server. Mm -hmm. See, this gateway server will be counted as a data power gateway. That data power gateway will sit in the DMZ. So first the request will come to the data power. Through data power, the request will go to the AP Okay, so do we need like um, I understand that there are some functionalities of data power already incorporated in APIC. So do we need uh, to set up data power box or when you say data, first you come to data power. So APIC will only handle that request so, due to its inbuilt functionalities. Yeah, could you please come again? I didn't get it. I said... Can you please uh, start a little bit louder? Yeah. Yeah, I said that uh, uh, you said that uh, the request will first come to data power and then it will yeah. go to APIC for uh, all the other things. So when yeah, you say uh, it'll, yeah. when you say data power, you meant that do we have to install data power or the functionalities of data power are already incorporated in APIC? That's my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to install a data power gateway. In the projects, okay. the, the real-time projects, the uh, the setup will be like that. Consider my project. In my project, mm -hmm. we have a data power gateway which is in DMZ mm -hmm. that okay. we uh, that we in AP Connect management uh, gateway server. First, okay. when first request will come come to the data power through data power. For whenever you configure gateway server as a data power gateway, in data power uh, application domains will be there. For the AP current, one default application domain will be there. Through that, the request will come to the AP current. So, the may, why we are routing through data power means because for security, AP, that's, uh, AP current sits in the private network, whereas this uh, data power will sits in the DM set. Data power is mainly meant for security. That all security attacks will be taken by the data power. That's why uh, the, uh, they will use data power with AP current. They'll use the, this gateway server as a data power gateway. You understood, right? Frankly, no. Uh, just uh, just let me open paint. I will draw a diagram. Okay. Also, one more diagram is there, but I have to set in search in a Google paint. Ajay, are you there? See, so it's a not state, not problem. Yeah. This is private network. Okay. This is DMZ and this is internet. Here in the private network, AP Connect and IAB will be there. 
whereas in this TMZ, that upper will be there. Okay, from the C. Hello, Kiran. Hello, Kiran. Yes, yes. Yeah, you see, this is a this is the internet and this is DMZ. In the DMZ, okay. data for gateway is there, and uh, this is the private network. In the generally, all the application like IAB and AP current will be in private network. See, okay, suppose consider there is no data for in DMZ from the internet directly. The requester will call this AP current, right? So, yes. there will be a lot of security aspects come into the picture. There will be network attacks, all the attacks will be there. So, in order to that purpose, that uh, if you don't have a DMZ data port in DMZ directly in, through internet, the calls will be converted to the private network through their fiber. So, the uh, security, uh, mm -hmm. all the network attacks are all security aspects, hacking, and all the things come into the picture. So, to remove all those, to remove that risk, actually, generally, they will use data power as a gateway. First, through internet, the request will come to the data power. Okay, through data power, the request will go to the AP connect. You understood, right? Here, the data uh, power only acting as a secure gateway here. So it will so, be all secure attacks in DMZ. So, if at all, like I have to uh, access one API, so okay. whose URL will I give? Will it be uh, yeah, yeah. like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you, uh, okay. See, as I said earlier, in AP Connect, we have uh, two servers, like right? management server and gateway server. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever we are calling, uh, more generally, this gateway server will be a data power gateway server. So, in okay. data power gateway server, we will, ex in AP Connect, only we will configure this data power gateway server okay so the url okay. of the data power will be there we will expose that data power url to the uh, request client so the first okay. request will be come to the data power that sits the dmz generally so all the attacks will be taken care by this data for any attacks in dmz so if it is success then the request will come to the ap connect and the three ap connect uh, what are the backends we are calling that will be general you understood my point, right? Uh, yes, so I want to understand this is one type of architecture. The other type of architecture is something that I said. I mean, that is also... Like, yeah, that course, depends. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Mostly, I so far I worked two projects and we have a different projects also in my company. Generally, hmm. AP Connect, they won't directly... AP Management Server, you are, see, we have, as I said, you have two man servers, a management server and gateway server. Uh, mm -hmm. Each IP address will be there for each server. So generally, mm -hmm. this AP gateway server will configure with the data power. They expose this, the sandbox, as I said you earlier, we will pro publish the products to the sandbox, right? For each sandbox, yes. as I said you, uh, we will configure gateway server. That gateway server will be the data power only. They, we, even for testing also, in my, in my uh, current company also, we configure this way. Even for testing also, we need you. We need to use this data for IP and port, which we confirmed in AP Connect for testing also. So we will expose this uh, okay. URL to the internet or my requester clients. Okay. Clients. Mostly, okay. I mean, I see I saw three to four projects. Mostly, they will be like this. Even in mm. rock, in for testing purpose, like in current company, for freshers or anyone is there a new fresher. Whoever wants to training also, they will we will use this architecture actually. We will configure gateway server as a data power gateway. In that way, it will happen actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Generally, it will be like that. Now it's clear, okay. right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still, if you have any question, just uh, please. Ask me, feel, please feel free and ask. Ajay. Yeah, and at the end, if once you are done with your question, just please give me feedback. Suppose, suppose I would like to know my weakness right now. If, if I'm lacking with anything, like in terms of communication, technical, the way I'm explaining, just please suggest me so that I will correct. 
uh, uh, I just have one feedback. Maybe probably it's just a demo class, and that's why you probably didn't okay. show uh, the practical uh, implementation. Yeah, yeah, practical. Once we kickstart with training, then I will. Yeah. So, how much time will it take me to learn? You said twenty to twenty-five hours. Was, what you said. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the trainings will be on daily basis, right? Morning, evening. Yeah. Mon either morning or evening. Actually, I have a different class in morning or evening. Okay. So yeah. how many? Uh, so is so uh, just wanted to know like how many guys will be there alongside? If I at all I join, how many guys will be there alongside with me who will be taking this training? Yeah, actually that we have to talk to the SVR. Um, Okay. Hello, are you there? I think he is there. Okay. And uh, so, which is the which is the slot that is available? Is it the evening slot or the morning slot? Yeah, actually, uh, actually, uh, I heard that uh, there are two more guys. Actually, he wants yes, to. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Based uh, on his. I'm, told I'm, me. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable for. Uh, Anything, either morning or evening, also not a problem for me. So there's no batch that has started, right? Because uh, yeah, it will be actually soon. Yeah, just uh, okay. give me. Uh, we will actually. I think is there in the call? Is that guy? Uh, Vasu. Yeah, Vasu. Hi, Vasu. Are you there? I'm afraid he's there, but uh, yeah, let me ping him. Hello. Hi, Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, I think you are in the traffic. Uh, just uh, they want to know how much the dash numbers and what are the times. Uh, Kiran, I will check with them and I will let you know uh, by afternoon. Is that okay for me? Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Uh, he will get, uh, get Ashik, back. Uh, Ashik sir uh, has given uh, both comments morning and evening. So, so I, I have to check with the many people and I have to do this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rashi Kargaru, uh, is the demo done? Yeah, I'm done with my demo. Kiran oh. and uh, Ajay, uh, so I will call you in two minutes. Okay. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, ping me in. Uh, yeah, ping me in. Uh, ping me in the uh, WhatsApp. Then I can respond to you. Sorry, Ajay. Yeah, yeah, you Sorry, can reach out. Yeah, you can reach out me. I will, I will talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. IAB along with this equation that will be more difficult. Yeah, so I'm going to please put it mute. Keep quiet. Sorry, keep. Hello. Actually, you are in traffic. In... Keep that. Yes, yes. I am I'm outside right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please mute. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Ajay. Yeah, yeah. You were saying something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you asked me, right? Just if you have a combination of this APIC, either data power or IAB, and uh, both are okay. But if you have a combination of data power along with APIC, that is more better for you. Okay. Now, nowadays, uh, the most of the companies are asking data power along with APIC. That is nowadays it becomes mandatory. Even if you don't know completely API Connect, also if you have some hands and experience on API Connect along with that, that upper, it's more benefit for you. For IAB, they are not asking, they are asking separate IAB only. But whoever wants to go for API Connect, they are asking this data power is a mandatory. Data power and API Connect, that combination is good. And you will get a lot of calls also. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. My, yeah, I say if you want, uh, please give me some feedback. If you want to suggest me or if anything, just please go ahead. Yeah, go, uh, good. Uh, as per demo, so we can understand everything point to point and uh, concept ways. So we are very happy with it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think that Vasu will contact you. Uh, soon uh, we will 
start our training. Yes. And uh, you have you are having laptops, right? Ah uh, yes yes. And what yeah. is the con minimum? Yeah, configuration for AP Connect. Uh, we will install Node.js and uh, AP Connect, right? Minimum four GB is enough, I think. If you have eight GB, that is more benefit. Eight GB even minimum four GB and i three processor will be enough. Four GB RAM, i three is enough. If you have eight GB and i five processor, that is uh, more better. No problem. Four GB eight, four GB RAM and i three processor is enough. Okay. Okay. Also, yeah, one thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Just one thing. Well, I don't know data power much. So in this, uh, um, um, can you just yeah. touch base on the data power aspect as well in the training? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, I will. I will. Okay. okay. If you want to learn completely data power, just uh, I, I I will provide the training on both the data power. AP Connect and IAB as well. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. thank you. Actually, it's uh, done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your. Thank you. Yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.